Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about uterine fibroids. Uterine fibroids are benign, slow-growing, smooth muscle tumors of the uterus. In fact, they are the most common tumors in women. Almost 20 to 40 percent of women will have fibroids during their lifetime. So, what are the causes of fibroids? Well, the etiology of fibroids is unknown, but it is seen that there is a relation in hereditary and family history, which means that if your mother or sister has had fibroids, you are more likely to get it. Fibroids grow when the body has high levels of estrogen and progesterone. So therefore it is more commonly seen in premenopausal women and during pregnancy. Fibroids are classified according to their location in the uterus. So they can be either intramural fibroids which is the most common type. That is the fibroids are usually in the wall of the uterus. Or they can be on the outer wall of the uterus and called subserosal fibroids or they can be towards the cavity of the uterus which means submucosal fibroids they can also occur in the lower part of the uterus and hence called cervical fibroids fibroids can be single or multiple and they are generally round firm and grayish white in color symptoms of fibroids can vary depending on their size location and their number most of the fibroids are asymptomatic but some fibroids can cause symptoms like abnormal uterine bleeding which is heavy bleeding during menses or abdominal pain or the patient can feel an abdominal mass or there can be pressure symptoms as the fibroid presses on the bladder patient can have frequency of urination so how are these fibroids diagnosed well they are diagnosed on bimanual pelvic examinations or during ultrasounds it can be an incidental finding also during an ultrasound so how do we treat fibroids well the treatment of fibroids depends on the age of the patient if the patient is desirous of fertility and in fact even the size and number of fibroids fibroids if they are asymptomatic can be left untreated but in case there are any symptoms fibroids require treatment In case the fibroid is towards the cavity of the uterus we can remove it using a very small instrument called a hysteroscope and it is a day care surgery patient comes in the morning and and is discharged by evening if the fibroids are in the wall of the uterus or towards the outer wall of the uterus they can be removed using a laparoscopic uh, myomectomy or a laparotomy may be done A laparoscopic myomectomy is a minimally invasive procedure where there are very small incisions given on the abdomen and the recovery rate of the patient is excellent. In case the fibroid is huge in size, very large in size, then a laparotomy may be required to remove the fibroid. So in case you are suffering from fibroids and you have any of the symptoms mentioned above, please get yourself examined by a gynecologist and get your treatment for the same. Thank you.